Hello there, today we're gonna be designing this gallery. We're gonna be able to enlarge the images with no code in Framer. So in a previous video, we were uploading multiple images at once in a collection in Framer. We're gonna be using the same collection in this example. I have a page as example, so we're gonna be inserting the collection. What First, what I like to do is just to leave the images for the gallery. So I'm going to be hiding the name of the file that is important with the collection. Then we're going to start um, shaping our space for the gallery. I'm going to fill, I'm going to set the width and fill. I'm going to change the direction. I'm going to remove the limit. I'm going to set infinite scroll. I'm going to reduce the item shown. I'm going to set in three. And I'm going to set the wrap uh, property. Then uh, I'm going to select the spinner component. I'm going to uh, just make it absolute so it's not going to interfere with our gallery. Then we have to select the image and, and enlarge them a little bit. So then it can have a nice looking size enough to see some details. And if the user wants to enlarge one image, the user wants only has to click, right? So we're gonna select one one image and we're gonna proceed creating one overlay. This overlay has to be fixed. With the overlay already created, we're gonna be inserting again the, the collection. So we're gonna drag the collection and here we're gonna limit to one item only. That's one important thing. On the other hand, we're going to be, of course, hiding the name. If you like, you can leave leave the name active so the, the user can see which image is watching at the moment. Then I'm going to lock for the image, the, um, the scale. I'm going to set in field, within field. And for the collection itself, I'm going to be using the hide as reference because the overlay is going to take the the viewport height 100% and in, in the case of the collection I'm going to be using only 80% so I'm going to set in within fixed I'm going to lock um, with the height and we're going to use relative height 80% after I set uh, the wrapper of the image I'm going to set it in fill and we're going to center our collection in the overlay after this we're gonna have to filter so this is important we're gonna set the uh, we're gonna look for the name and it has to be equal we're gonna set a variable and it has to be equal the name of the image clicked well in that way we're gonna be able to scroll and select enlarge any images the image that we want and it's gonna be applied to all images in our collection now a uh, small detail is uh, we're going to add a, a small hover effect so the user can have that uh, feeling of a button so he will be able to, to click. One of the limitations since Framer uh, is still working on that, it's uh, whenever you enlarge one image you cannot uh, uh, play with the controls so you cannot go you cannot go to the next one that's the only limitation but then you can go and enlarge as many images as you want i hope this is going to help you and thank you for watching have a nice day